the Royal Guards, the ultimate protectors of the world's leaders. They're not just soldiers, they're the personal bodyguards for royalty. From the King's Guard in their bearskin hats in Britain to the stern-faced Kremlin Guards in Russia, these guards represent the most elite soldiers a country has to offer. But what happens when people push the boundaries and try to mess with the guards? Would a Russian guard react differently to a British one? Let's find out. United Kingdom. We've all seen these before. Towering furry hats, blazing red suits. The King's Guard of the United Kingdom are possibly the world's most iconic sentinels, best known for their statue-like attitude. Goodbye! Emotions? Not exactly their forte. According to insider information from a guard who prefers to stay incognito, this job ranks number one on the boredom scale. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from their military involvement, these guys are technically a tourist attraction for a living. You'd think that this would equip them with top-notch tourist handling skills, and you'd be absolutely right. While the guards are forbidden to utter a word whilst on duty, there are certain circumstances in which they can, and you definitely don't want to be on the receiving end when that happens. Get off the run! You'd often hear the guards shout, Stay off the back! Or... Bye -bye! Smiling is off limits, however it won't be the first time a guard violated protocol whenever met with respect or an unexpected chuckle. Him, his mother always picked him up from school, you know he's that type of guy until he was 20, his mother picked him up from school. <laughs> Despite the occasional kid mistaking a guard for a robot, mishaps are an inescapable part of the job. They typically have an alarm within an arm's reach in case of an emergency involving them or their horse. Watch as this royal guard frantically hits the alarm button when his horse's legs begin to call it a day. USA the guards of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier are an elite group of sentinels who spent years training for what some may think is a simple guard post. But in the 51-year history of guarding the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, less than 570 have earned tomb badges, and only a few hundred actually earned the right to stand watch. Stay behind the chains and rail! Behind the chains and rail! The guards of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldiers are very renowned for looking all suave as they walk from one end to another of the cemetery platform. Ever heard of a reverse moonwalk? Achieving this level of grace and elegance requires months of intense training. Mistakes can easily happen, which is why soldiers' skills must be sharpened to be as infallible as possible. Only about 1 in 10 trainees completes the program, making earning the Tomb Guard badge the military's holy grail of achievements. This includes perfecting their marching, their military history, and their uniform upkeep. When not outside, the guards may spend up to 8 hours making sure every stitch and seam on their uniforms is spotless. A landmark of such high prestige obviously attracts a high amount of tourists, and you know what that means. Remove yourselves from our path. It is requested! That everyone maintains a level of silence and respect. Mess with a tomb guard and you may quickly hear them shouting. It is requested that all visitors remain behind the chains and rails at all times. Remain behind the chains and rails! You behind the rail! Russia. Guarding the Kremlin has been a tradition ever since the establishment of the palace itself, dating back to the late 15th century. Whilst we've all witnessed videos of tourists messing with the king's guard and tomb guards, you'd be hard-pressed to see anyone messing with a Russian Kremlin guard. Why? Probably because you could get yourself killed. These guards undergo a grueling training regimen requiring peak physical fitness and razor-sharp mental acuity. To top it off, many are often required to be proficient in foreign languages as they interact with tourists from around the world. Yet when braving icy weather, these guards have some unconventional tricks up their sleeves, like a little shoe polish with pork fat for added insulation. With an intimidating march and a very stern posture, Kremlin guards present themselves in a very distinct manner. But what really catches the eye of people is their iconic head tilt as they welcome Vladimir Putin into the Kremlin. These folks take eye contact to a whole new level. Norway 
Since 1888, the King's Guards of Norway have been standing sentry at the Royal Palace of Oslo, a 24-7 gig, 365 days a year. Unlike many stone-faced guards, these guards have a more relaxed approach when it comes to tourists. <laughs> After all, who said being intimidating couldn't have a dash of fun? Speaking of fun, they surely know how to put on a show. Just like their ceremonial comrades around the world, the King's Guard in Norway dazzles with the changing of the guard ceremony. But here's the kicker, their strength lures plenty of tourists for a showdown, with many who just want to know just how good are the combat skills of these guards. Trust us, you don't want to find out. These soldiers must meet stringent physical fitness standards and intense training drills to get this prestigious role. Not prestigious enough, however, to surpass the ranking of a penguin. In 2016, this dapper bird known as Major General Sir Nils Olav III was promoted to brigadier in the Norwegian army. Remember, if there's one guard you don't want to mess with in Norway, it's a penguin. Thailand. The King's Guards of Thailand, also known as the Royal Guards or the King's Guard Regiment, are an elite and prestigious military unit responsible for the security and ceremonial duties related to the Thai monarchy. They also perform important ceremonies and guard duties at royal palaces and during state events. But don't think for a second that this job is for anyone. Recruitment is rigorous, and members are chosen based on their top-tier physical fitness, strict discipline, and loyalty that's tighter than your last group chat. The King's Guards of Thailand are not to be messed with. They're the watchful eyes that keep the kingdom safe and the dazzling spectacle that lights up royal events. Sweden. Whilst most military forces adhere to the strict no communication policy, the royal guards at the Stockholm Palace are much less conservative in their way around tourists. In fact, you'd often see them laughing, making conversation, or casually photobombing your selfie. But don't let their demeanor fool you as it takes some of the best trained soldiers to earn the privilege of this highly qualified role. <laughs> Japan. The Japanese Imperial Guards are a military unit tasked with safeguarding the Japanese Imperial family, currently under the reign of Emperor Naruhito. Established in 1867 as Japan geared up for modernization and a makeover of its military might, they've evolved into quite the showstoppers, stealing the spotlight as a sought-after tourist attraction. These events, often centered around the Emperor himself, such as his birthday, are where the Imperial Guards showcase their distinctive ensemble. What really adds an edge to their threatening presence is the katana swords which they carry during formal occasions. It's a look that says, don't mess with the emperor's entourage. South Korea. The role of the Gyeongbuk Gung Palace Guards of South Korea have a rich history that dates back to the 14th century. Their role was to protect the royal family and the royal palace up till the 19th century. After the Korean War gave the culture a bit of a shake, efforts were made to restore and preserve the country's rich heritage. Visitors to the palace can interact with the guards, take photographs, and ask questions. It's not just a visit, it's a full-on cultural immersion. Which of these guards would you most likely want to visit? Visit. Let us know down in the comments, subscribe to never miss a video, and we'll see you soon.